Uh, you don't roll them often, but when you do, you want to succeed. All right, you guys go walking out. As you're crossing the grounds, everybody give me a spot hidden. I'll roll for the guards. Ah, yeah. There you go. Crit. Save the ambassador! They grab McKay and run back into the embassy as you guys are walking toward the thing. McKay goes, ah! Oh. <laughs> Gets carried off. It looks like it's a uh, some sort of black device, ball, uh, sphere-shaped, and it's rolling uh, on the embassy grounds in your general direction. Not exactly. Is that a Roomba? But... What? Is it pins? Is, is it pins there? Uh, you, you're, you're, uh, give me a spot hidden roll at half, uh, or you, you already made it. Uh, you, you didn't see any pins or anything sticking out, but your, your view is kind of bouncing away as you're literally being rhino handled off. Mm -hmm. is, how big is it? What's that? Oh. Anything for the crit? Uh, it's a bowling ball. Oh. Okay. It, it also has that yin yang symbol thing on it. I hate you so much. <laughs> All because Russ asked if it'd come up recently. You just see the hook slowly at the walls of up. It stops. Uh, uh, Freddy's guards are have all... Uh, actually, did they even notice it? Yes, they all took cover, just in case it was that's, a spot. That's, that's what I do, too. Just because it looks like a bowling ball doesn't mean it's a bowling ball. I <laughs> I stomp it with my foot and pick it up. All right. No problem. It, it shows the uh, uh, brief movie poster of uh, whatever that Boeing thing is where the guy got taught by the hook-handed guy. I forget the old movie that that was. Yeah. Um, yes. So, I, yes. Cool. It looks like a um, perfectly ordinary Boeing ball. I shake it and get inside while no. I'm around. No, but it does remind you of some uh, of a much smaller black ball that, when shaken, would foretell the future and stuff that's lounging yeah. somewhere in the vast expanse of the magic items that the PCs have tossed onto a fucking pile. Like they're all actually dragons and want to sleep on top of them <laughs> at some point. Oh, uh, um, and when if we get enough time, rock, mm -hmm. there's some rock for you to clean up in the village. <laughs> I'm giving him a card um, for that. Okay. All right. I got my uh my number sixty nine costume. <laughs> I I'll go with the bowling ball with find McKay. Uh no problem. McKay has uh been uh uh, locked into his private residence uh, area of the embassy. There are many guards who uh, are, uh, they won't let you anywhere close to him with the possibly explosive sphere of doom. It's, it's a bowling ball. They don't know what that is. You roll it to knock over pins. <laughs> Get him away, says one of the guards threatening you with his rifle. <laughs> Hey, remember your reputation at the embassy, dude. Uh, just walk away. Your four, your four guards. You notice, Russ, also that uh, Freddy's guards all are attempting unsuccessfully to secrete rope, burlap bags, and chains on them. They keep close to Freddy, and uh, they're, they're, they're like, no, not yet, not yet. Wait, if he advances anymore, then yes. Okay. Uh, I turn to one of them and say, "Can you put this in sack?" No. No, it's it might explode. We'd rather have you hold it. You're a door. You know what this is? It's a bowling ball. It looks like a bowling ball. Says. <laughs> so saith the rock too. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh! He's right here. Next room machine. They just look at uh, you. What? They're all dressed in cowboy right. gear. Right. We're, we're taking this with us to do. It's fine. Let's go. Okay. Uh, eventually, uh, McKay uh, manages to free himself from uh, his uh, 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 guards. And you guys head over to the... Uh, it takes him about 20 minutes to convince them it's okay. It's time for him to leave. Because they're very concerned about his health for some reason. Especially... Uh, 
since uh, one of them has mentioned that you've moved up in the social ranks due to the explosions in the uh, thing in the Citadel. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you're, you're, you're even more valuable, especially since I believe you're a peer of the realm. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're you're like eighth in line for the throne now, so they're keeping a careful eye on you. <laughs> well, the governor governorship here, not the kingship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the eighth in line for that. So yeah, you may end up running this fucking cowboy right. hell. So <laughs> great. I like that. <laughs> you guys head okay. over to let me make a note of that just so I can fuck with him later on it. Yeah. Because that, that's what he needs is more... Um, um, all right. God damn, I need to get a quieter keyboard. All right. So, you guys head over to the... Uh, it doesn't look like a clams. It looks like a huge solid stone building and they've got these two big ass doors and stuff and they're, and they're cranking them open there's all these spikes on the inside in case anybody gets an idea of like kicking them open or shouldering them open or anything like that and inside you see a very standard looking clams building and then once you guys go in then they begin cranking them closed uh one of the uh guards has learned from uh the previous things and has lit some oil lamps and he places them in there before the, you guys go in and they close the door so that way you're not going to be in the dark with clem which would okay. be awkward don't and knock them is... one of the guards goes you points at freddy do not knock over that or you answer to him he points at mckay <laughs> uh i'll do my best they don't believe you, and the clumsy looks highly flammable to you. The whole the thing stone like, building looks highly flammable. Well, okay. no, no, the clumsy is the clums is wood, but it's inside of a big stone extra building. So okay. that that one okay. will survive, but the clums itself may not because of Freddy. That's okay. I'll put the fire out with the bowling ball, and right. then it will sink into the swamp. Right, Logan. Um, Thing you notified you did you didn't notify me of is the embassy still clogged up with uh, MMO people? Yep. Yeah, it's okay. it's got roughly five times as many people in there as it should have. Actually, more now, maybe six or seven not, times as many because they keep not, not fucking. Just, not just MMO refugees either. There's other there's refugees from other worlds. Yep. Now, yep. Getting taken care of. We've got displaced people from other worlds. Plus, any time okay. the PCs run into somebody who it's like, well, we should save them. Throw them on the pile at the embassy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, oh, we're, we're, they're already getting, already got food lines and work, working bees and stuff like that. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, believe me, it's, it's a great labor force. But, yes, finding them a place of their own, preferably with their own clams so that they can go to work and wrestle and rad's various sugar mines or whatever would be a wonderful okay. thing mm -hmm. okay all right so this. um that's a way mm -hmm. howdy what can i do you for says clem shave please mm. hot towel yes thank you where are you going back to Gurry, please them as well yes thank you clem hot towels are applied to everybody's faces and yeah, Freddie, you notice that you're third on the getting the hot towel applied, and you really don't like the look in Clem's eye. I understand that. Like, where he pats it down a bit around here. <laughs> no, I'm just standing. I'm just standing, like not even sitting down. I'm like, oh, if you don't sit okay, down, then you don't go. You know that. Okay, what are you doing? It, it going to I, I believe we all have hot towels over our faces. So. It, it didn't say the password. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, you're yeah, just making, sitting there with a hot towel on your face. Yeah, I was just interested to see, just making sure. No after problem. Yesterday's, oh. After yesterday's or the day before's events. Okay. I've got a hot towel on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be nice and relaxing. Clem begins sharpening a straight uh, razor, looking uh, at Freddy significantly. <laughs> he he begins strapping the blade. Uh, Gurry, oh, destination Gurry, a 
Destination Guri, a dingo stole my baby. What the fuck? Uh, Clem continues strapping the uh, mm, uh, blade, looking at Freddy significantly. Eat, eat my baby, eat my baby. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Uh, right, Clem comes over and takes off Guri your hot towel and begins applying. Dingo ate your baby. Oh. Now I said that. Them as well? Yes, thank you. Right. Uh, hot towels are put on everybody's faces and then taken off and Clem and... The reason I didn't say it is because he said them as well before. Mm. That's why I yeah, didn't say it. just wouldn't go anywhere. I know, but I was interested to see what happens. The new Clem offers oh. you guys a shave. You're in Gurry. Uh, okay. Definitely tell. Are we in Wi-Fi range? Uh, We're always in Wi-Fi range. Yeah. Okay, well, I yeah. immediately send uh, 6,000 credits to the bank. Beep. You push the button, and it works. If you can make me a computer use roll, as it is your first time in this adventure doing the computer use. Do not fuck and, this um, roll up, or hilarity for Logan and bad things for Russ may ensue. I'll spend on all my accounts as well. They, there's a yeah. lot of pop-up ads that you could spend that money on. And wow, you've always wanted a lot of iTunes money. Okay, I try again. Um, give me a luck roll to make sure you didn't send it off to one of the pop-up ads that's trying to skirt under your finger. Oh yeah, you didn't. You're, you're like, ah. After doing after doing some of the uh, eighty year old guy trying to operate a computer for the first time ever, he suddenly remembers how to send right sending money to your bank. Assuming you can use a computer is easy. Uh, make a note uh, that that money is banked. Uh, in order to get it out, you have to go there. They give you a little pop up message saying, you know, to retrieve your money from the bank, you must show up at the bank with uh, your ID. Uh, can you send? Other people money to their bank? Uh, Rock can't because he's already sent his money, I think, but yeah, unless but he has more. In, yeah, like, um, is it physical possible? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, you, if you have a uh, card uh, reader, one of the big box things, and then both uh, people put in their, their things and then transfers money, you can't no, do it. Usually outside the bank, right? Uh, merchants have them. You can buy one yourself, too, if you wanted to. Mm. Okay. Um, I strap on my offers... I strap on my bullshit cameras. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming the bank offers the that service as well for with their. Oh yeah, if you guys show up at the bank, they they've got their own card readers. Uh, the reason the reason I ask is because oh Russ, from I... your six thousand, it shows that it is deposited five thousand four hundred. Right. Uh, Wait, it's it's. Yeah, ten percent. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. And that's going to come out on the way out, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 20%, basically. <laughs> yeah. Just for... Yeah. Corporation okay. always gets its uh, money. Okay. Just so I have a little capital, if I haven't needed to do mind when we're done here, giving me one or two grand in my yeah. bank. Yeah. Cool. Do you guys want to walk way. over to the bank and take care of that? Or? No, we'll, we'll do the right away and stuff first. Do the bank last. All right. No problem. You guys go back to the anti-radiation merchant. There's, it's it's almost a carnival atmosphere here with all the multicolored spaceships and stuff. And let me find my picture here because I didn't know you guys would be going to here. I thought you were going to suck up the radiation and like it. Um... <coughs> Who doesn't like some radiation? Fukushima. Mm. <laughs> too soon, man. Mm. Too soon. Too it's no. been like 10 years. <laughs> Calm down. Ah, I don't have that picture on there. Cool. I uh, one of the interesting businesses is the Ovaltine Cafe that is here. It looks like a 1950s, 1960s style of cafe but um i mentioned it because you guys are big fans of oval team yeah do they have any powder packages well actually 
Hold on a second. When you go into the Ovaltine Cafe, under glass, they have what appears to be an actual Ovaltine ring that is for sale, as well as a card mentioning that they always buy Ovaltine rings. How much is it? How much is the Ovaltine ring? Let me double check here. Give me a second. Thank God for the search function. That's all I've got to say. Ah, there it is. The uh, to buy the Ovaltine ring is ten thousand cred. Right. Fucking hell. Um, however, it does mention that they uh, buy them for eight thousand cred. Oh, that's, that's too bad we lost them all. I have no idea. As far as I know, McKay shits Ovaltine rings. <laughs> well, mine went bye bye. Uh, yeah, all, all of our machine rings blew up. Well, eventually yeah. you may get some more. When when uh, Burlington went went dead. Oh. Yeah, that's still underwater, by the way. I know. Mm. Ain't nobody fixing that. Eh. Mm. Never say never. I'm sure that the PCs will eventually find out how to do that. Okay. So, uh, the right away, um, yeah, well, is yes. it 500 each? That's right. Uh, although the guy does recommend buying the harsh chemical uh, scrub as well, uh, mm -hmm. it's only a hundred. Although it is, and they, he says we can deliver it to your spaceship wherever your spaceship is, assuming it's within Wi-Fi range of the rocket or of the corp here. Does yeah. the is do you have any other um, anti -ra radiation removal? products no these work fine do you have any radiation resistance program or power? Um, ah he shows you the expensive ass suits so right away just purges the radiation from your system once you've been irradiated it doesn't prevent you it's not like the the basic stuff that was available in the 20th century that actually assisted with radiation preventing radiation we we recommend wearing the suits to keep from getting really really sick from the radiation because while the Radaway will purge the radiation from you, you will be stuck with all of the damage that it was caused. It's not like a magic cure thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, using uh, the any, any, uh, I've never taken Radaway before. Are there any side effects? Uh yes, several. It may cause hair loss, infertility. He lists off this <laughs> sudden death syndrome, uh, cribs, you know, just uh, pregnancy. Just all, uh, he has a huge list of uh, different. Yeah, symptoms. am I gonna crap my pants after I take it? Is that's that's all I really care yes, about? Yes, yes, that is possible as well. But the harsh radiation decon thing also will remove shit stains from your rad suit. They recommend using all three products in conjunction with each other. Uh, at the rate of one one suit. Well, actually, you can get more mileage out of the suit if you decon it, which, assuming that you're in a place that you can decon it without sucking up more radiation. But, uh, yeah, they recommend using all three products in conjunction. Um, the suit will last for a few days, but uh, assuming you decon it properly and everything, but uh, the each dose of Radaway is one day, and the harsh chemical stuff will clean all of your gear, including the suit, uh, one a day. Uh, but it is a fucking half drum of shit. Mm -hmm. um, what do the suits look like? How mobile are they? They 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 look like uh, uh, kind of uh, slick spacesuits. But they have, for some reason, a full face mask. You're guessing that's so that the audience can see the surprised and horrified expressions on your faces when you're. Uh, you so, know. so you can move in them easily. They're not like modern day spacesuits, like giant. No. Hard no, to move no. Can I try one on? No, he says. If you buy it, you can. We'll fit you. We'll fit it to you if you buy it. We'll make sure it fits. Now, Logan, is this going to require a special? skill to use the suits i'll let you use your uh um uh spacesuit skill for it oh great well to make sure that all the seals and stuff you got to make sure of the seals 
Everybody knows how to put on a spacesuit, says the guy standing next to his spaceship. <laughs> it is covered with instruction manuals. Hey, hands you uh, something in uh, some weird alien language. He goes, it's in Flickrari. Mm -hmm. Nobody usually I mean, asks for him because everybody knows how to do a spacesuit. I'm afraid I'm not fluent in this language. Do you have it translated in English? Yes, yes, we do. He gives you something that looks like it's been translated into a few languages before they hit on English and is completely useless. It talks about tab A into spindle B, and you're like, this makes no goddamn sense, and there's no pictures. Thanks. The reeds float down the river, says part of it, and you're like... Yeah, I don't know if this is a good idea, because none of us are really... Well, the clip to use then. So, McKay, you're the only one who can spring for uh, EVA suits. We're doing that? Do you have any um, bags or anything for carrying equipment through irradiated areas to protect it? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. We can definitely sell you something like that. It's good for at least a day. I mean, if, if the bag itself will become irradiated unless you use the harsh chemical scrub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it just means something so that if if we had to travel through a radiated area and we had some equipment that we wanted to protect. Sure. Uh, he'll sell you those for 700 each. It's big yeah. enough for a backpack worth of shit. Yep. Nice. And how long does that last for? At least a day, he says. Mm. Uh, radiations. Uh, we're assuming that you, when you're going into radiation, you're going into radiation, not just like, oh, it's it's uh, microwaves are all around uh, me. You know. Do you have any radiation details? Yes. Ones? Yes. Kiker counters. Hey, hey, do you have any chemical when it can it, chemical activated ones, as opposed to electrical ones? Yeah, no. badges. Like the badges. No, 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 no clip on no, badges you that tell you when you absorb too much radiation and you're going to die. Well, the problem no, with those is you color. have to go and get them checked in the lab, and then it tells you that you're already dead. So we don't really sell those, but we do sell the nifty electronic one uh, for 400 are you guys just going through my entire stock and just wanting to know the price? You're not working for a different anti-radiation no, 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 specialist no, no. Wanna... pricing me, are so, you? So you don't have you don't have those badges that go that change color that that are designed that tell you you're idiot. dead. No, no, we don't bother with those. No way, nobody's seriously going into any kind of a radiated zone would bother with that. It's like, oh, it's red. That means I'm dead. Yay. Well, no, it's 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 you're gonna die if you stay here. Um, oh, okay. We don't have the going to die if you stay here ones. These work just fine. Look, see, Ooh, too much radiation. I've been dealing with a lot of things. He says. Yeah, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. All right, so I'll uh, I'll plug down for some rad X. Well, keep in mind, if you're just buying the Rad X and you're not using the suits, your your body is going to be stuck with horrible internal damage and stuff. I'm aware. Mm -hmm. I just don't have the money for that. I think my uh, compatriot over here might be purchasing that stuff. Oh, sure. Do How we many... still have a spaceship, Freddy? Yeah. How many doses do you want of Rad X? Um, they're 500 a pop. That's right. Uh, just one for now. Here you go. He uses his card reader, and uh, you pay your five hundred and fifty. I am whoa, 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 whoa! Show that he's being taxed, not us. Other way around, Logan. No. <laughs> Why is not being every taxed? transaction? Is every 10%. every he transaction. This. Yes. Yeah, it gives him five hundred. Take away ten percent. No. It, it, when when he charges, yeah, it always it always gets increased. It's like American taxes, as opposed to the more making sense European ones where they added into the price. Well, you yeah. added tax. You add the it's tax. A VAT. Gotta love those suckers. Yeah. 
Corpus guy Gavin's money and yours. <laughs> I will I will buy ten redaways. Okay, uh, five thousand five hundred creds go chunk. Nah, aren't they five hundred? They are uh, five hundred plus the ten percent uh, corp tax. Yep, yep. That's right. I said ten, not five. Don't worry. In my mind, I was thinking five, so I was thinking two hundred, two thousand five hundred, not ten. But I actually wanted ten. Don't worry. My brain was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, he suggests using uh, one on yourself right now, just in case. Is there a next version that on this thing? Uh, yes, yes of course there is. They, and they, that is. The end of the season, then they are okay. uh, in the don't use it unless you want to get poisoned, and maybe it'll work. Okay. They they make sure to build an expiration date. I will buy three bags. Mm hmm. Those are everything here has an expiration date of end of the season. Whether it's true or not, you don't know. Sure. Uh, the three. Three bags, uh, 21 uh, plus 10%, so 24, 10, something like that. Actually, 23, 10. Mm -hmm. Cool. And do we want the guy to counter as well? Hey guys, radiation Ed, is like I'm little bad, bullets going through me. your body. Yeah. Mm. If we go into a radiation zone, we're going to be Swiss cheese. Really, really tiny bubble Swiss cheese, but Swiss cheese. He suggests yeah. the radiation counter. And that's why I was after the badges. He doesn't have yeah. any. Yes, I'm disappointed in that. Yes. I'm like a look at those suits. He shows you these suits. Uh, these appear to be like the only thing that keeps them from being spacesuits is they don't have oxygen and shit hooked up to them. So, I mean, they could technically be spacesuits if you don't need to breathe. So, which is possible within this world. Right, right. And we can jury rig up some oxygen, but. <laughs> yeah, I guess. They don't really I love to take a chance on that shit. Yeah. And you notice that nothing really comes with warranties and shit here. You know, it's like, yeah, you know, this is good shit. I mean, I don't know how much you guys know about spacesuits and stuff, but yeah, if they had oxygen on them and stuff, then, then you could definitely, uh, I mean, he could even sell you, because uh, all they have is like air filters and stuff, because they assume you're going to be in the air. Is that what they look like, Logan? More or less. Mm -hmm. The link. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what they look like, kind of. Yeah, that's close enough for me. Okay. Save that picture, Logan. Save you a whole lot of description. Okay, so we're going in without rad suits. Fine. Um, yeah. Well, none Second. of us really know how to use them, so we'll just end up having holes in them when we walk through. You'll be fine, he says. I'm a light hobbyist. He, okay, what about you? He says, I really, you know, hope that you choose to wear the, the proper gear because I would like to have repeat customers. I don't intend to go into radiation. He looks at the general. huge amount of Radex and shit. This is this is just in case. Oh, okay. So what, what if we need to go in the radiation? This is this is for in case. Then we'll come to that hurdle. We'll take that hurdle when we come to it. Are you buying a no, radiation? Is it death claw repellent? Yeah. The what? Says the guy. Death claw repellent. He has no idea what you're talking about. That'd be a different store. This guy's radiation stuff. Yeah, I know. I just wonder if you knew another shop that has death cloud repellent. I've never even heard of death claws. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Are you buying a radiation counter? Sure, why not? Great. Four four zero. 
Bargain at twice the price, he tells you. Oh, did you want a bargain roll, by the way, to roll this? No, he's happy to just go with the price tags. I mean, if, you, if you're buying the suits, he might give you a break, but you're not really buying enough for him to get finicky about it and overcharge you. I've almost bought 10 grand worth of gear. Eh, yeah, he, he, he might throw in the uh, radiation thing for free, uh, the counter for free. So go ahead and give me a roll. Oh, no, it's, oh, it's, yeah, all right. Uh, skills bargain. Do you want support on that or is it fine? If you wish to, you can try. And Freddy goes, come on! Yeah, we're, we're good customers and all that. Wow, well, only if you survive. Well, <laughs> I gave okay. you support. Plus 10 or plus 5? Plus 5. five. Uh, where is it? There. 5 and then that. Okay, yeah, he throws in the uh, rad counter for free. You're going to need this, he says. Good call. We'll be sure to uh, come to you for all our radiation needs. Great. Do you have a card so we can refer other people to your shop? I am the only one that's uh, bothering to sell that stuff here. Uh, I mean, plus we move around. Everybody, all the merchants move around. So it depends on which rock you're on and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, any advice on going through irradiated areas that you can give us? Yeah, wear a fucking uh, rad suit. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> besides mm -hmm. that. Oh, um, the less amount of radiation, it, it's not It's not really a good or bad thing. It's It's more of like a speed limit. Uh, if you're if you're going too fast, the faster you go, the more chances you have of death. Same with radiation. So even low radiation can do a lot of damage if you're, if, you know, it, it's pretty random actually. It may hit something vital, it may not. You may end right. up having to lose some limbs, you may not. You may end up... It's all about exposure time and exposure tens intensity, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Try well, not to become a pile of goo. Yeah, we'll try our best. <sighs> he rolls his eyes. He says, look, you, you guys look like nice guys. And he's pretty persuasive, he indicates McKay. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll go for... Uh, yeah, I can bring down the price of those rad suits a little bit. I'll tell you what, how about uh, 2500 each, if you buy three? Okay, that's up to you. 7500 plus corp. All right, why so not? So 8250 Ooh, go math boy. Okay. He looks relieved, sells you the suits. Gets you guys all fitted. Um, yeah. Wait, we're already fitted with... Yeah, it will take okay. you spend a couple hours getting fitted, but yeah, he makes sure to get you into suits that fit and uh has you guys all in the suits and then shows you how, you know, takes them off and stuff. Yeah. So Okay, yeah. while we're in them, are these minus thirty suits, Logan? No. No, these are actually pretty good feeling. That's why I lost all the bulk of your the, the the only possible negative might be to spot hidden because you're you lose for peripheral vision shit. Other right. than that you're fine. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. So sneaking up behind you and shit, easier. Although if you right. didn't need your brain or face or anything like that, you just take off the helmet and go, ha ha, my head is immune to radiation, but nothing else. You got carrying cases for these suckers? He kind points at the he points at the bag that McKay bought. He gives you some cheap plastic carrying cases. Yeah, there you okay. go. There you go. Yeah, I'm reasonably certain you'll somehow manage to survive. He looks at the camera. I know they won't. <laughs> Good luck. All right. And how much, how much hmm? is one of those drums? Oh, the drum, the drum of the harsh solvents uh, that two of you guys They're can 100. carry off. One hundred. It's, it's one hundred and ten. Yeah. 
Okay. How are we going to carry that? That's quite big. We're going to have it delivered to the spaceship. Okay. That's why I asked you if we had a base. Yeah, uh -huh. he's happy to. He goes, oh, the new ship in the shit area? Great, no problem. I know where, I know where that one is. It's been a much talk. People are wondering what kind of defenses it has to keep people from spray painting it. I'll pick up three bats since three thirty. Trust me, they don't want to find out. Mm, give me an intimidation roll, Freddy. If you can make it, then the word may spread and people will keep away. If you fail it, then your ship may end up getting spray painted. I think we all know which way this is going. So, um, <laughs> you guys uh, get the shit delivered. Uh, they. All right, I, I pick up that shit, so... Yeah, assuming yeah. somebody will be there for it, it will be delivered and stuff. You guys set up a time when you'll be there, like if you go mm -hmm. now or whatever, it would be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go now. It'll be sometime between noon and 6 p.m. <laughs> Good. The second Thursday. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'm okay. Don't worry about the money because... Just spent almost all of it on that, so don't worry. Mm. Yeah. That's right. I was just trying to, I'm just thinking about, there were some other things I wanted to check out in Guri, but now is not the time. Hey, yeah, hey, you've got a new cyberpunk zone. Look at how cyberpunky it is. Oh. There's all kinds uh, of new yeah. shops oh, well, here. Actually, uh, when... yeah, I want to go buy some cheap knock knockoff computers. Oh, yes, please. 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 Let me look up the price of knockoff computers please, 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 please. and shit. Okay. No, it's so like, like a Chrome, a cheap Chromebook. A. That sort of stuff. A. L. M. Yeah, <laughs> 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 the cow goes. Uh. Let me write in this new price. Shitty computer. Mm -hmm. 400 cred. How many would you like? It's a lot. No, you can buy you can buy a reasonable computer for 700 or a hacking one for 10 thou. Okay. So 440. Yep. How many are you picking up and putting in Freddy's lap and saying, if you have your shit, not blow up? <laughs> or you, you get really small ones, too, so everybody can carry one to try to, or you could even strap it, like put it in a carrying case with your fucking ID here so that you've got one extra chance before your ID thing blows well, that's up. Ex and, that's, ex that's exactly what it's for, is so that yes. I have it with the ID. And so everybody gets like one more or what? Just a small portable thing. Thank you, Ken McKay. Cool. Everybody's got one one shot before their thing blows up. Eventually, I'm sure the PCs will strap numerous small ass computers all over themselves and wander around here, which is fine. Yeah. You know, look like freaks, but that's okay. It could be a fashion thing. Thanks, is, there okay. a, is, there a Hello, is there a Hello Kitty uh, laptop I can get? Those are more expensive because they got the Hello Kitty brand. He's, yeah. he's yeah. buying he's buying you the, the ones that are called Apple, but they misspelled Apple, you know. Yeah, so show yeah. me the knockoff Hello Kitties. I'll, I'll leave my laptop in the ship. Okay, you get phone. a good buy kitty one. <laughs> Goodbye, kitty. Goodbye, kitty. Bye, bye, kitty. Yeah, it, um, it's it's like a laptop, but it has like one uh, cat arm sticking out of the side, and when it's going, it goes like this. <laughs> hey, Logan. Mm -hmm. Uh, the rule on that fried laptop stuff does it have to be on your person? Uh huh. Depends okay. on what the card says. Yeah, the card the card uh, specifies on the person, and then if not on the person, then it goes to your gear, and oh. if you don't have it, then it goes and continues right here. So if you store the thing with the card, then what? even yeah, if the okay. card's not on your person, then it you can hit that first. So it's very easy. Uh, then, to I'll, then I'll store my card and laptop. Yeah, the ship. easy. That's fine. 
No problem. None of the other PCs have yet made off with the ship or anything, which if they do, uh, then, you know, they'll make off with all your Guri cards. Um, since we're shopping here, I want to check out to see if things, a couple of things. One, whether or not they've got the same sort of printing technology that was in Cyberpunk Hong Kong. To a, uh, an extent. They're not right. as slick here because uh, most most of the time it's uh, the main thing that they can print here is uh, shitty stone buildings. Uh, okay. They don't have like a lot of detailed printing stuff because uh, it, it it took our jobs and so they okay. outlawed a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And um, gold's pretty fucking cheap right now. Pardon? Gold's fairly cheap right now. Yeah, yeah we, we should get some it. currency for Gothic. Uh, it's uh, down to seven, seven, or actually, it's gone down a little further. It's six creds per gram right now. Yeah, so that's uh, hundred and fifty per coin. Hundred and fifty grams. Hundred and fifty credits per coin. Okay. Twenty-five grams per per coin. Yeah. Okay. How's the price of plastic? <laughs> Like recyclable plastic. I don't know. Is there a shortage of that? Uh, no. Okay. Um, how how's the chicken market going? <laughs> I think that because some of the PCs had sold uh breeding pairs and stuff to the yeah, people but unintentionally. Take, but breeding chickens takes a while and takes yes. experience and that's, requires. Food that's also stuff. true. Uh, right now, uh, chickens can be sold for uh, like about four hundred. Okay, that's why I was asking because it potentially impo imploded because they mm -hmm. didn't have the knowledge or resources to keep them alive. Mm -hmm. and oh, people central. people like chicken because they're all used to very bland food here. Not a good place for the spice cartel, um, and. Uh, Chicken is fairly bland when you don't spice it, so uh, they are selling well. Okay. Yeah, and also that you can only they can only breed so much anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the eggs, they can they can just keep them for eggs. How are eggs? Yeah. That that's the uh, other aspect. <laughs> too minor for me to care about. Oh, by prices. the way, what's the silver price? I don't know. Silver? I don't know. You don't? Okay. No. That's what you told us once. It was that point ten or something? I can I can look and see if I've got it here. Nope, I got gold. Oh wait, no, I got silver. Ah, silver per gram. Uh, selling is point two. Point two. Yeah. Okay, I buy three gold pieces. Sure. For three twenty-five. Okay. Sorry, how many? Yeah, how many grams? I can't remember. Where's my sheet? Twenty-five grams per coin. Don't forget ten percent. Oh, yeah. yeah, they hold it. They're one fifty a pop. Yes, yeah, so one sixty-five. Okay, so one fifty-four, fifty-four, ninety-five. Yeah, that's what the math comes out to. <clears throat> yeah, I might buy. <laughs> If you like gold, you should go out to some of the asteroid belts. If you want a bunch of it, it's really cheap out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A bit. Um, yeah, um, equivalent of spider silk. I don't think they've got uh, anything as good as the drider spider silk. Okay. I wasn't sure if the, the driders were have their market here or not. Negative, but they uh, that that is a potential other thing to work on uh, creating a market for. I was more interested in buying it and buying and getting clothing made. Mm -hmm. And since MMO land's a bit hard to get to at the moment. No. No. Well, no, I would trump there. I'm just trump to where. Yeah. 
to outside of the dwarf area. There's an the earthquake suddenly, mountain. and people look around and look up in and the that, sky and stuff. And and it leads to my next question: How stable does this place look? It's it it's been going through less shit than some of the places, but there's still some shit going on. Uh, you notice that some of the more nervous uh, uh, spaceship merchants have fucked off, but there's still a lot of them here. Right. I'm going to make a geology roll just for the fuck of it. Sure. No? Yeah. It's rock all the way down, and under that, turtles all the way down. I am, I'm, at clo I'm looking closely to see if I can see any skulls. See roll! The ghost you're at half peak because you've seen him before. Mm -hmm. Rocks at a quarter because he hasn't. The other thing I'm interested in because this is somebody mm -hmm. else's pocket realm, so it may have mm -hmm. a bit more, def and because of the nature of it, it, may have a bit more defenses against the disruption. Mm -hmm. uh, crit. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're here. Do they seem as prevalent as what we've seen elsewhere? Or do bit they less. Seem bit less. Bit less. Yes, super spot hidden. McKay's like. All right, are we kidding up? Mm -hmm. But if so. All right. Well, okay. your money's almost out, so I'm guessing yes. I still can give you a couple of grand if you want a couple of grand, Freddy. Sure. Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, well, just put it in my bank. We'll go to the bank and just deposit it straight in there. No problem. Uh, uh, 1,800 gets uh, deposited from the two grand he put in. Thank you. Oh, yeah. How cool would it be to be the fucking corporation? 10% of everything. Uh, but it's just, it doesn't matter. But all I bought was a fingernail slipper. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. The, bank, the banks are doing pretty good. Would you prefer you get 90% of what you bought? Oh, yeah. Well, plus, uh, you, you've you overheard people talking. This is one of the less taxed places. Some mm -hmm. places have a tax of like 100%. So everything costs <laughs> twice as much. But the the... The corporations, like, the tax indicates how much the corp wants merchantile shit going on if they are like fuck off they just put it like 200 percent, so that you pay three times for everything yeah and, yeah exactly yeah you know, so if, if you go there you really want to be there but yeah this is this is definitely on the low end of the tax rate right so the super rich rock rather than a gated community they just have a high tax community yeah, well, the only time the tax rate goes down is when the rock does. Someday we all go to the sun. Yep. So, you guys uh, get the delivery of stuff uh, and the uh, make a note in the ship storage that you've got, I believe you bought three vats, so... Uh, did they buy three or one? Oh, Six, you only know, bought... What's that? Three, because it's 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 good enough for a backpack of gear. So he bought yeah. three. Well, if they yeah. oh. basically it's enough to decon all okay. of your shit if he you got three. So I'll I'll add it. Okay, great. Oh, what are they called specifically? Uh, Different kind anti of red anti rad big vat ogu. Okay, sure. Oh yeah, it's horrible horrible shit. It's like working with like liquidy jello where you, you like rub it on everything and then scrape it back off and then you got to clean your shit you know but it's rid of the radiation apparently that oh anti-rad gel yeah i think it'd be hilarious if you guys didn't end up using it and they just found it in the spaceship and they're like the fuck is this that's how we get rid of our bodies <laughs> All right, so you guys, uh, after getting that put into the common areas of the spaceship, because I believe there's still some stuff locked off, uh, 
you guys uh, head out. Yeah. No. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to have to get some kind of burlap to put over these plastic. Uh... Oh, wait, we're going to Gothic, right? Yes. Do you think they have uh, spacesuit tech there? I'm worried about MIBs. Uh, they will probably need to carry them in a bag or something, but yes, mate, potentially getting something over the top of them to disguise them. Oh, yeah. is, uh, give is me a luck a, roll, Russ. Is it quite a good idea, uh, um, Jacob? We're going to walk around in cloaks and pretend to be Jedi. There's, there's a, a merchant who is selling uh, uh, stuff made from hemp, which looks a lot like burlap. And you can get, uh, each of you guys can get a big burlap bag to put your plastic pallets, fun to be with, for like ten, uh, 10 so hence 11 uh, cred each. Yeah, it's, it's not so much carrying them, it's also when we're wearing them. Yeah. Oh, well, I know. You, they, they, you, uh, hence with his... we get some things like ponchos and... Yeah, All right. You could get burlap uh, cloaks and shit like that too. Oh, Those cost some, more, but um, Holocaust cloaks or Jedi cloaks is pretty once. Mm -hmm. Oh well, they yeah. don't sell uh, unless you want like the the only Jedi type cloaks they have uh, all have a big pot plant uh, logo on them, so it's like natural burlap oh. but with a vivid green pot plant thing because. Anytime you sell burlap stuff, you have to advertise that it came from pot because that makes you Fine. feel more relaxed and stuff. We might be able to get away with their vintage motorcycle suits for actually wearing the suits. I'm just worried about the plastic containers. The, the, the 11 cred burlap sack will take care of the plastic container. Yep. yep. Sounds good. Yeah. Do you want to, uh, for, <coughs> hold on, let me double check the price of the uh, Jedi uh, cloaks. Oh, those are only fifty-five, including uh, uh, tax, uh, each for a hemp knight cloak. Neat. <laughs> yes. All right. You, you guys yes. want to all get the uh, 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 dress up sure. as pot Jedi? Cool. Sure. So fifty-five <laughs> each. Great. Taken. <laughs> Blunt Man and Hemp Knight right again. Pot Jedi, that's the name of the series. The episode. That is a good one, actually. Okay. We are sufficiently incognito. Uh, I get one that's Sith colored, if I can get one that's Sith colored. They, they, no, we need to blend in. What are you doing? They, they're, all, they're all brown with bright green pot things on them. They don't yeah. have multiple oh, colors okay. and stuff. Damn it. What, what, what was it? What was the title again there, Freddy? Pot Jedi. Got it. Okay. Right. So, dressed up in your new Pot Jedi uh, clothes and stuff, uh, or you can stick them in the bag for now. Oh, you're I'm wearing your them. Suits. Oh, all right. I'm, 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 I'm... Okay, great. You guys uh, head back over to Clem's and uh, go through your normal Clem's ritual and uh, know uh, what's it called, uh, passwords, and head to where? Well, I'm in Gothic now. All right. You guys get to Gothic. It, the soldiers have really been messed with here because they used to uh, be really confident in their uh, um, uh, weaponry weaponry and such but now they've gone back to crossbows and spears and stuff like that so they they're unhappy that's your magic tech pickle pixels oh pixels are pretty cheap yeah but they don't work that well mm -hmm. uh are you all okay with weapons yeah i love weapons Why are you no, I mean, uh, are you, not, do you have any right at this moment Nothing that my works intention, in the same visual. My intention is that we go somewhere, we go drop most of this stuff off at the embassy, and I get geared up and then come oh. back. Okay, well, let's go back then. I'm fine doing back it. Back to the embassy. Yeah, I'm fine doing it from a location and, use, and trumping there. Okay. Whatever you feel. What are you doing? We don't have to use Clems. 
to get there. That's fine. I'll come just jump over there. My bar around in Guri. Mm -hmm. So and other imported gear. I was not lugging around in Guri, and I want to drop stuff off at the embassy. And same as like I was saying, we don't take the space. We don't take the red suits with us to Bakersfield. Mm -hmm. Leave them in the embassy. Right. It's a lot and less time. Can trump out. Yeah. Okay, so instead of going to uh, back to uh, post we go to Gothic and then mm -hmm. we go to Gothic and then we just trump. Oh, yeah. fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll trump us over there. Hold on. Yeah. yeah okay. and then roll the thing, and then we go there. And then, okay, cool. Yep. All right. Cool. We'll drop off whatever we don't need. By the way, uh, you're thinking also, Freddy, that with the world getting more and more fucked up, that the luck roll for the Trumps to okay. work for places I will know. become more difficult very soon. I'm aware. Very good. So. Um, we'll put our gear in a location where they're not going to get raided by kids. Uh, you put it in your private quarters. Yes. Nobody's okay. allowed in there unless it's you or they're with you. Or yeah. it's cleaning staff, and they are not allowed yeah. in a special roped-off area. We basically yeah. just have the bare essentials on us, and just the rest stuff. Of, yeah, like yeah, then like money and stuff. Yeah. Well, part of the thing is also that then I put my I leave my I my Guri ID here and get my Gothic ID. Yeah. Etc. Yeah. You guys switch around the gear and cleverly leave uh, most of your baggage there. And then using the correct password, signs and counter signs, etc., you uh, go back to Gothic eventually. Now, from there, uh, there's a couple of different ways you could get to Bakersfield. The fastest way well, is... Well, um, actually... Bitch? We actually already, we already had a way to get there. How? The well, the golden lot was before we got distracted with the bomb shop poles, they were going to organize a coach for us to go there. So okay, if you could just That was a long time ago that that was being talked yeah, about. Yeah, if you could just ask them again now that we're ready, if they can organize that for us. Or we just take the there's the, the, a coach that goes there between the places every yeah i'm day. just saying they would have paid for it instead of us having to okay um yeah so to take can we profits? save a little money on this look no no it's all right we'll pay for it okay that's fine then. um i think that's what you're getting at right yeah, pretty much he's he's willing to, to rob Rasslin Rad's business just a bit because he knows Rasslin Rad won't mind at all. Um, Rasslin's fucking loaded. It. It's fine. Uh, the the stagecoach rates have gone up a bit, especially given all the recent trouble that this land has been having. And looking around, there's some torn up shit here, but uh, it's 40 silvers per person that includes a stay in a uh, common room and not great meal. They have a nice package at 50 silver a person or the royal treatment, which includes pads that uh, somebody forgot to pick up for one gold per person. And then you're pretty much in your own room and all that stuff. Yeah, I was going to go to a store in Gothic and buy stagecoach pads. How much do they cost? Uh, five silver. Yeah. Cool. He, he shows up with his own pads and they're like, experience. Hmm. Sure, I'll get something myself. Before moving on from the Golden Wattle, I wanted to check a couple of things. <laughs> it never ends. All right. Uh, the Golden Wattle seems to be doing well. Uh, the uh, It's quite, quite a popular officers club. You, you can uh, tell that Colonel Dosecki the most interesting mm -hmm. colonel in the world, he's pretty much working on dissolving himself into alcohol and whatnot. Um, hold, he regularly holds court there and all that. Mm -hmm. um, Good. It, this is um, definitely you. nice, nice drinking establishment. In your the, current clothes, you the, go through so the side the, door. Yeah, the the two things I wanted to check is one that the statue it has. They've they got the statue here. 
Oh, ah, yeah, they, they, they set that shit up pretty quick. They were very impressed by the giant fucking statue and stuff, and they have gotten it. Let me see how well it's installed. Roll groundskeeping. Perfectly wow. installed. <laughs> and the second thing is the PC, the private area, our private area, ah, yes. is it finished. It is a work in progress. <laughs> 